Welcome to ACE Project, a truly great application to get you organized and productive through online collaboration. Let's see what you have when you first log in. You are driven to the dashboard. From here, see all your tasks and, for example, what tasks are assigned to you, that you've created, and overdue. Simply click on a column and it'll bring you to the filter task list. Actions where you can create a new task, add a project, or add a user are available, and help and additional information is available on the right panel. Let's take a look at the key interface elements of ACE Project. The Project tab zone, located here, is where you can open and add a new project. From the Project tab, you can access settings such as Edit Project as well. The next area is the left menu. This allows access to different features throughout the application. For example, let's go to Tasks, All Tasks. Access the administration section is made here. Here you're able to set account parameters, add users, import, export, and brand the application with your logo. The last section is the right action filters and information panel located here to set different statuses, to filter by project, etc. At this point, you may want to create another user. You can either go to the administration and then the user section, or you can go to your dashboard and add a user, which is a shortcut to the same page. Simply add the username, password, and email, and click Save. I've created already a user. His name is Bob. And I've also added a profile photo by clicking on the Modify icon and selecting a, an image. Let's go back to the application. You're currently at the home level rather than at a project level. When you click a project tab, you'll be driven to the project level and the menu items and the filtering of the task takes place for that project. So at the home level, we get access to all tasks across all projects. So for example, tasks, all tasks at the home level provide access to all the tasks that I have access to across projects for this user. Let's open up a project. By default, there's one created for you called Getting Started Project. On the right drop-down arrow, you'll notice that you can go to the Edit Project section, where you can set project parameters. And you can also go to the Assignment section from this tab here, or again from the drop-down Assignments. Let's assign Bob to this project. So assign a user. And we'll select Bob from the user list and we'll set his parameters, either as a project manager or not, as well as the time expense prover and the, ta the edit task level. More information is available here. And click Save. Bob has now been added to this project. Let's go back to the project and then add a task. Go to the Add a Task button Let's create a new task called test. The description is test. Let's make it a high priority task, an urgent task. Let's assign it to Bob and put Jane as a reviewer. And let's as well add a couple images. So let's go to add three images here, documents, and save. This task has been created and Bob has been sent an email telling him that he's been assigned this task. He can click on the link to come back to the environment here or he can actually even send a comment directly from his email. From the image we can actually even view the documents in a preview mode. So let's click on the documents icon and be able to preview the images or documents that are there. All tasks are listed but maybe it'd be easier to see only those tasks that interest us. Here we can use the filters on the right panel. So for example, there are a couple tasks that are urgent. So let's filter by the urgent tasks and apply the filter. Only the urgent tasks are listed. 
We may also apply by mark tasks. So from different projects I can mark several tasks and filter by mark tasks only. So I can make custom task lists quite easily using this method. Okay, let's add some time to the task. Let's open the task again. And we, from the right-hand panel, from the actions area, we can go to add time, or we can always go to time, my time, and add time from there. So let's add time from here. A new time, time item window comes up, and we can select the days that we've worked on this and the hours on those days. And then simply click save. This has a time item, and now you can actually view that time item by going to time, my time. And your time items for the week are listed. You simply have to select your time item and then send it to, for approval to the appropriate person. Do you have a project expense to add? This is done similarly to add time. Go to expenses, add expense, or from the my expenses page and go to approval. You can even attach an image of a receipt or other proof. Okay, now lastly, let's make a time report. Go to Home, Time, Time Report. And from here, we're able to select parameters such as view by week or month. And then we're able to filter secondarily by user, if you want a user report for their time. Select your fields to display and your filters and click Generate. Most reports and lists from Ace Project are available for export. You simply click the export data icon on the top right of each page. And you'll get a nice report that you can use in Excel or other programs. So that ends the initial tour of Ace Project. There's much we have not covered in this brief introduction, but remember to visit our support section if you have any questions.